Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. Now that we have finished light in Unity 5, we are now going to focus on another small series of videos. This time, I'm going to show you guys how to prepare 3D assets for Unity 5, create materials, set up the physics for the model and do some scripting for a controller. Today I'm going to cover how to prepare the assets for Unity 5 and import it. Now if you enjoyed this video remember to leave a like and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials remember to subscribe to our channel. Now as you guys can see here I'm not on Unity anymore but on Autodesk 3ds Max 2015. I'm going to use Max on this video because it's the software I use for 3D modeling however Feel free to use Maya or Blender, the process should be similar. So right now I have one of my models open and I want to prepare the model to be used in Unity. So we have to do a couple of things first. First, if you are using a model that has more than one mesh, like mine here, um, as you can see I have several meshes, you want to make sure you have a a hierarchy for the meshes like I have right here so I have the base mesh that is actually the parent of all the other meshes so if I basically move the, the, the base mesh the entire model will move okay so this will, this will make it easier for you to work on max but also on unity since the hierarchy will also be imported for unity once you export the model so this way you can import the model and with the Unity will automatically create just one game object with the mesh and several children game objects with the children meshes, okay? So next thing you want to make sure is that you have done, done UVW for the model. So if I select for example the mesh here and I go here, you can see that I have an unwrap UVW modifier applied which means this model has a UVW map applied to it. Uh, this is actually the best way to texture models. So make sure you have um, UVW maps for the model ready and your model ready for UVW model, UVW maps. Next thing you want to make sure and the last one is regarding the pivot of the models. So. As you can see here, let me just select this, okay. Um, as you can see here on the gizmo, we have the Z axis is up, Y axis is backwards and the X axis is to the side, right? So one thing you have to keep in mind is and I is that you have to change the pivot of the model the direction now I'm not a hundred percent sure this solid that this happens with other softwares like Maya or Blender but on Max the ZW is up as you guys can see here but on Unity the Y axis is up now this may create you a problem if you export the model without changing the pivot because once we import the model to Unity, the model will have the wrong direction. Now, to solve this issue, you want to make sure the pivot matches uh, the pivots on Unity. So, we need to change Y to be up and Z to be front. Okay? Now, we can do this by rotating the pivot axis, which I'm going to do now. Now, I have the base mesh selected. I'm going to open this tab here and I'm going to select Effect Pivot Only. So right now what I'm going to do is to reset the Transform and the Scale and I'm going to rotate, let me just activate the degrees here, I'm going to rotate the pivot 19 degrees in order to make sure the Y is up and the Z is front. And now I actually like to keep my pivot centered to the object so I'm going to go here and center to object. Okay. Now since I have an hierarchy of objects this will always be applied to all the, the children objects, all the children meshes. 
I'm just going to reset the transform and set it to object to all to all the other um, meshes very quick so we, we should do this process to all your meshes as well Okay, one more. The headlights. Now the front wheels. So basically, the process is all the same. You select once you have done it, rotating the rotation for the parent. The rotation will be applied to all the children, but you just have to go here and change the transform and scale and center to the object. Now keep in mind that I'm actually centering all the, the pivots in all the objects uh, because for this model there is no problem in doing that and it's actually easier but if you have um, animation for example you may want the pivot to be on other points so in that case you may want not to center the, the pivot the pivot point the center of the object and leave it where you want it to be for the animation. Now that we're done, um, we are now going to first. I'm going to save it, the model very quick. Uh, just save the model, okay. And now what I'm actually going to do is to export the model to an FBX file. Now this is quite simple. I just go to here to the main menu. I go to export select export and now on here I'm going to select Autodesk FBX I'm just going to select the folder yes I'm going to save over this file here Loadmaster Cargo that I already have but I'm going to save over it now I'm going to hit save yes I'm going to replace it and now Max will open the configurations of the FBX exporter and there are several things that we want to make sure uh, you have done here. Okay, so first things first. Uh, let, you want to make sure Imbibid Media is off. Unity does not work well with Imbibid Media, so make sure you have this option off. Okay, next, here on animation, um, we are going to turn this off because we don't have any animation than in the model but if you have done for example if you are working with a model with animation yes leave this on so you can ex so once you export we'll also export the animations but in this case since we don't have any animations I'm going to turn this off and finally um, on the advanced options we'll find here on axis conversion you want to make sure you have Y up since Unity works with the Y axis up. Okay, now we finally just hit the OK button, and now 3DX Max will export the model for Unity. Okay, it's done. Um, and our work on Max is done, so let's move on to Unity now. Uh, before we import the model to Unity, I'm going to create several folders to keep uh, our assets organized. So let me just New folder Loadmaster Cargo, which is the name of our model, and here I'm going to create several folders. So I'm going to create a new folder for Mesh. I'm going to create a new folder for textures. I'm going to create another folder for materials. I'm going to create one more folder for prefabs. And finally, I'm going to create one final folder for scripts. Now, this is actually a, a great way to keep your project organized because if you have 
all the assets messed up together. Once you have bigger projects, it will be a complete chaos and believe me, um, you don't want that to happen. So, now that you have all the folders created, what I'm actually going to do is to open the mesh folder. And now, I'm going here to our uh, directory where we save the FBX file and I'm going to drag it over to Unity. And Unity, as you guys can see, now imported the model to our game, to our project. So you can actually delete this folder right here. Yes, delete. So you are actually seeing all this in purple or pink uh, because you don't have uh, any materials. But we are going to talk about that on the next video. So this is it guys, this is how you prepare and import 3D assets for Unity 5 and like I said on the next video I'm going to show you how to prepare the materials and how to use shaders. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next tutorial, have a nice day.